what up everybody video game xd and we are back with tonight's gamer grabs baby and we're talking rebuys rebuys for that ass yeah that's right um went to disc replay in flint michigan always a great store i love disc replay man i've spent so many freaking hours so many days in disc replay by far the best video game store probably of all time I'm, I'm telling you, check out your local disc replay. But I also went to Media Reload in Flint, Michigan, and Media Reload in Burton. Tonight's episode, Jen ain't with us. She's tired tonight, so I'm going. I'm going solo, you guys. But this is rebuys. So a lot of these are PS2, the PS2 baby. Now, why did I rebuy these? Well, I had multiple copies. I had them for the OG Xbox. <laughs> and then I thought, man, maybe I'll trade in half of my collection. Yeah regretted it stupid so i bought him back <laughs> this time i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not doing that again i know i i say that a lot it's dumb i'm sorry i have to have ps2 and xbox i love both consoles equally so let's do this up so we got for 9.99 pga tour 96 for the og playstation ps1 baby now this is in the long box, hard case, kind of like a dual, like Sega Saturn style. I don't have many of these. This might be my only dual long case like this, but I had to get PGA 96. This is just cool to have, man. Just the artwork back in the day. Look at this. Like, you don't get this with today's games, I'm telling you. Like, it's even got the uh, wipe off sponge thing back in the day. Remember these? Yeah, you don't see those anymore. But uh, this was the first PGA on the on the PlayStation, coming from you know the Super Nintendo and Sega back in the day. So this is a classic to own, man. We got for seven ninety nine, which was actually it was a total deal five bucks. Sega Tennis. Total deal. Now this was also known as Virtual Tennis, I believe, on the Dreamcast, but they brought it to the PS two. And uh, this is actually well before like Top Spin came out. This was probably the best tennis game to get back then. Not complete, but not a big deal. What else we got here? We got Destroy All Humans 2 for $11.99. Greatest hits. Yeah, Destroy All Humans. I love alien stuff. Uh, part 2 was cool because it had multiplayer. So you can, you you know, your multi, multi-tap on the PlayStation. Or, yeah, one to two players, but you know what I mean. Uh, great game. Gotta go back and play them though. And we got no. I'm, I'm gonna show that off later. Five ninety five. My uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare two. Now uh, I wasn't the biggest Call of Duty fan back in the day. No, but uh, you know Call of Duty Modern Warfare two and three. They're up there as classics. So gotta get it for the PS three. Down here we got for seventeen ninety five at Media Reload in Burton. Final Fantasy IX. So this is Final Fantasy IX. I don't know. I'm not a big Final Fantasy guy. I always say that. But, you know, one of my buddies back in the day said he uh, was a big fan of this one. I've never played it, but I know there's remasters of this on. You can buy them on the PlayStation Store, the Xbox Store, and it's all cleaned up. But um, I'm going to check it out. I, I really am. Because that one looks more interesting to me. What else we got here? Uh, Final... Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Another Final Fantasy. I guess I can see it out of here. We got Final Fantasy Anthology for $17.95. So what this comes with is Final Fantasy V, which is 5, and then VI, which is 6. But 6 was actually 3 on the Super Nintendo. So you're getting Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo, which is actually 6. But uh, that's like, people tell me that's like the greatest Final Fantasy that was ever made, along with 7. So you're essentially getting like an $80 game, because that's like an $80 game on the Super Nintendo. I got it on the PlayStation now for 18 bucks. Plus I get Final Fantasy V, which was like not released here, I think. So this is cool to own. It's a, a two-disc set, so that's badass. Uh, $12.99 Midway Arcade Treasures for the PS2. This was dope. 
Now you're talking, you got Joust on here, Paperboy, Rampage, Sinistar, all the classics from the 80s back in the day. All on one disc. I love compilation sets like that. I always thought those were dope. Uh, I wish they would come out with more of this stuff, you know, in this era. They do. They got the Sega classics. They got some, but I wish there was more of this stuff. Complete, baby. I got to get volume two back. That one had Mortal Kombat and shit on it. $7.99. Devil May Cry, the OG. This game I beat. I beat this on the PS2 when it came out. Fantastic. This is dark, gruesome, crazy, like kind of more goth style game. I really like this. And I'm telling you, the final boss in this game is wicked as hell. It literally looks like you're in hell. Like, it's <laughs> nuts. But you can't go wrong with Devil May Cry. Complete. Of course, it got re-released HD collections. You can play them on a lot of consoles now. Uh, we got Hot Shots Golf. Yeah, I'm repping the Nirvana shirt. Check it out. I like that. $3.99 Hot Shots Golf 3. I love my golf games. Why not pick it up for the PS2? Uh, I think I had Hot Shots Golf 4. Never really. I don't think I ever played 3. It is complete. So that's dope. What else we got here? We got more Final Fantasy. Yeah, I know. Because I'm trying to recollect them. <laughs> Just to have them. Because I, I, I don't know. I got to go back and... I actually have to play them fully to really get a full opinion. I'm just not a big RPG guy. I suck at RPGs. Uh, 20 bucks. Where did I get this? Disc replay. Final Fantasy VIII. So Final Fantasy VIII. I know a lot of people like this one. Like I said, you can uh, get these on the PlayStation Store now. They're all cleaned up. Xbox Store. They might be on the Switch. Not sure. Now this is a little pricey, but this is a... Uh, I'm telling you, this is like a 60, I believe 60 to $80 game online. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis for the OG PlayStation. PS1, baby. Now, normally I want to pay that price for a lot of games, but it's Resident Evil 3. I mean, I don't want to pay 80 either. And, you know, I missed this game. I used to have it. It doesn't come with the OG case, but, you know, for 35 bucks, I'm not going to bitch. At least I still have it on the actual disc. It's got a sticker on it, but I can take that off. So Resident Evil 3 was uh, my favorites too. Resident Evil 2, but 3 was still badass. Um, oh, what we got here? We got a controller for $1.99. That's it. Dollar ninety-nine. We got a Mad Cats. Back in the day, y'all remember Mad Cats? Yeah. Some people make fun of these now, but you know what? Looking back now and holding these controllers, these actually... I like them better than the original PlayStation 2 controllers. They actually have grip on the back, and it feels more big and bulky. Like a, like a PS4 controller almost, or a PS5 controller would feel now. And it's actually a lot more comfortable in the hands compared to, I don't know, I think it holds up. I think these actually were, were well made back in the day. The fact that these still work and they still exist, dope. I got it for two bucks. Classic, classic. I miss those. I used to give my buddy the second controller back in the day. I was like, here, you can use the Mad Cats one. We used to make, I don't know. All right, here we go. Bag, bag of goodies. Four ninety nine, a total deal. total deal. Midnight Club, the OG, Part One. Nobody even talks about Part One because it aged horribly compared to Part Two and Three Dub Edition. This this game's garbage now. But back when this, I played this one when it first came out, and yeah, I loved it. But then once Two and Three came out, this one can't kind of. It. I'm not gonna lie, it became obsolete. It just doesn't hold up anymore. It's crazy how we leaped, it is complete, from this one to two and three because this one is so freaking dated. This one's so dated, it could have been on like Dreamcast. But Rockstar made a huge leap with the sequels. Uh, $4.99, another total deal. Total deal. Splinter Cell, baby. Pandora tomorrow. I like Chaos Theory because it has the multiplayer, two player. But this one's single player, but this one was still a badass. Uh, I always sucked at Splinter Cell games. 
But they're cool to own. I was good at Chaos Theory, though, a little bit. It is complete. Greatest hits. We don't care about that, though. You get it cheaper, that's what matters. Eight ninety five NBA Jam. This was one of the most underrated fucking NBA Jams on the planet. Nobody talks about this one. There was the re or the reboot they did on like PS3 during that era and the Wii. I thought that was trash from EA. This one's from Acclaim. But I'm telling you, this one is fun as shit. I used to play the living piss out of this NBA Jam. If you guys can find this, pick it up. This is a fun. Like 3D style NBA Jam. To me, this is up there with like NBA Hang Time and Showtime. And it doesn't get talked about. I don't know why. It's actually really freaking fun. Not complete, but I don't give a crap, dude. That's also on the OG Xbox. Um, what else we got here? We got Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. I'm not sure if I showed this off, but I actually only paid $3.00. Three bucks at a thrift store. I think it was Volunteers of America. Who the hell was trading this in? This game is a freaking masterpiece, man. This is one of the coolest racing racing games you can pick up back then. It was gangsta too. It was gangsta back then. It was scratched to hell, but got it buffed out, you know. And I only paid three bucks at a thrift store for Midnight Club Three. Hell of a freaking deal. Seven ninety nine. Silent Scope Three at the disc replay. Silent Scope Three, baby. I like the Silent Scope games. They were fun back then. They're from Konami. Um, you know, they're just arcade shooters. They're also on Dreamcast, I believe. Complete. Nope. Back in the collection. $2.99. Metal Gear. No. Not Metal Gear. Metal of Honor Frontline. Hell of a deal. Three bucks for Metal of Honor Frontline. Back in the day, this was talked about a lot. Back in the PS2 era. I remember a lot of people talking about this. And, uh... It was a classic war game. Probably hasn't aged well, but complete. Three ninety nine Ghost Recon Two for the PS Two. Uh, I can't. I don't have a lot of memories with this one. I don't, but I do remember the cover. So maybe I can go back and replay this. Um, it's complete. That's dope. What else we got here? We got Pac Man Fever for eleven ninety nine. Now this was like Mario Party meets Pac-Man. If you're into Mario Party, you might enjoy this. Was it as good as Mario Party? No. But for kind of like a rip-off Mario Party, it was all right. Wait, not bad. And we got for $11.99, Pac-Man World 2, greatest hits. This, I almost beat this damn game, but for some reason I couldn't get past like it was one of the last levels. I could never beat it, but I got so far into this game. If you enjoy Crash Bandicoot, you will fall in love with this game. It's the Pac-Man version of Crash Bandicoot, or like games like Croc, if you like platformers. And this was, a, I actually wish they would remake this game or uh, remaster it. I know they did the first one. It'd be cool if they did this one too. This one was actually better to me. Boom, complete. Okay. What else we got here? Final Fantasy X. So Final Fantasy X. Why not get another Final Fantasy? I don't know. I heard this one was good. I've heard other channels say it was good. Um, but I don't know. I don't know shit about Final Fantasy. The only one I really ever got into was Final Fantasy II, I think, on the Super Nintendo. That one was decent. Uh, $3.99 Jeopardy. Yeah, because you can't go wrong with Jeopardy. Because Jeopardy is hard as shit. Honestly, once I play Jeopardy, I feel stupid because I don't know half the questions. But I try my best. I'm more of a Family Feud guy. Uh, it is complete. So that's cool to own. And we got Final Fantasy XII for a total deal. Total deal. Total Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy deal. deal. Don't know shit about it, but it was cheap and it was greatest hits. Hey, if it can sell shit ton of copies and go greatest hits why not get it for five bucks it is complete you guys remember these cases once the playstation cases that got rid of the memory card slot it was kind of depressing during that time 399 greatest hits mx versus atv unleashed now i grew up with mx unleashed kick-ass game it's kind of like atv off-road fury but more vehicles 
Now this was the sequel to MX Unleashed. This one, you know, they brought back the ATV, so it was more like ATV off of Fury. Now I actually never, barely ever played this fucking game. I don't know why I missed out on it, because I really loved MX Unleashed. For some reason I missed out on this one, but this game looks insanely fun, and they, I don't know, I heard it has a good soundtrack, because I remember MX Unleashed having a really good soundtrack too. Complete, baby. All right, what else we got in here? We got Silent Scope, the OG for $3.99. For the PS2. Uh, all the Silent Scopes are fun. If you ever played them in the arcade, the console versions are still fun, even though you don't got the big gun and everything. Uh, they're still fun, though. Complete. And we got for $4.99, a total deal. Once total again, deal. Metal of Honor, Rising Sun. This one, I, I do have fond memories of the campaign mode. This is one of the coolest army war campaign games you can buy on the PS2. It really is. It had split screen multiplayer, and it was okay. But the campaign on this, you can do two player campaign, I believe. You're going to want to get up on this game. If you never played it, if you're in war stuff, World War II, it is complete. You'll love that game. That game's great. Masterpiece. Uh, we got for $3.99, Splinter Cell, the OG, Greatest Hits. Never really cared for this one. But there is a big fan base out there that missed the old Splinter Cell games. And, uh, you know, when games are like $3.99, 5 bucks, why not pick them up? Because, uh, yeah. Complete, baby, complete. We got complete all day. And I think this is the final game in the bag, you guys. And I got one DVD to show off. For $4.99, another total, total deal, baby. Total freaking deal. Metal of Honor, European Assault. This one was really good. Uh, it doesn't really get talked about a lot, but I, I think the multiplayer on this, the split-screen multiplayer, one of the funnest games you'll ever fucking play. Like, seriously, I'm not going to say it's like, as good as Halo, but damn, the multiplayer on this, the split screen, I can play this all day. So we got European Assault. There's the back. Is it complete? Yes, it is, but it, for some reason, Medal of Honor Vanguard is in there. Uh, I fucked up on that, but whatever. Okay, and we got a movie to show off here. Here's the final item, you guys. Julia Stiles. I think... Styles, yeah, I think so. Wicked, evil never looked so good. Okay, so I watched this on a free app, Tubi, or it was either Tubi or Pluto TV. Love Pluto TV, check it out. Uh, this movie's jacked up. It's really fucked up. <laughs> uh, it's about like a girl, and she has a thing for her daddy. It is what? rated R. It is. It's pretty disgusting, I'm not going to lie. And she kills the mom. And the next door neighbor has a thing for her. And it's it's pretty gross, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty fucked up. But it, I'm not going to say it's the greatest movie or anything. But it will keep your, your, your attention span as you watch it. Because it is a rated R horror flick. If you're into horror. Um, I think Mark watched it too. And he's like, damn, that movie was jacked up, man. But... Uh, Jen actually found this on DVD. I was like, oh shit, w wicked. Uh, Alright. Disgusting movie, but it can go in my uh, fucked up horror movie collection. Uh, I think I paid three bucks for it on disc replay. So. That was it, you guys. That was Rebuys PlayStation 2. We got PS1 games, a DVD grab, controller. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow Video Game XD on Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. Like us on Facebook. You know the rest. I'm Charles. Peace.